My name's Sarah Munro and I've been in post here now for three years as the Chief Executive at the Trust and I'm doing this video now because I want to send a message out to all of the staff in the organisation because I need your help. I am really focused on how we improve the culture of the organisation so that it feels a better place to work for every single one of our staff. And what do I mean when I talk about culture? Well, culture is a shorthand way of describing the values that we hold as individuals and as part of working for Leeds and York Partnership Trust. And that in turn describes how we behave towards one another as part of teams, as part of our organisation, and importantly, how we behave towards the people that very much need our services. We know that culture matters and makes a big difference to the way that we feel as individuals and our own health and well-being and there is a huge amount of evidence out there, especially in evidence that's looked at cultures within the NHS that shows us that the culture that we create has a direct impact on the health and well-being of the staff that work in that organisation and that in turn impacts on our ability to be compassionate towards our service users and carers. So getting the right culture, which needs to be led from the top of the organisation, is directly linked to the experiences of staff and the outcomes that we can achieve for our service users and carers, which is why I want to lead this personally. So why am I doing this big focus now? Well, because many of you will have met me over the past three years when I've been out and about visiting teams and services, doing the big conversations, the senior team doing the engagement events, get a lot of feedback from within the organisation that we're not getting it right for everybody. So when I reflect on the last 12 months, in our staff survey results last year, whilst we had an increase in 10% of our staff saying that they felt valued by the organisation, that still only got us to 50%. So that means half of the staff that responded didn't feel as though the organisation truly valued everything that they did. So now we're going to be kickstarting a campaign which we're in line with our trust uh, ambition is about improving culture to improve lives. When we received the ACAS report and we were discussing those findings as part of a senior leadership team, one of the members of the team, in fact it was Sharon Prince, I hope she doesn't mind me uh, calling her name out, gave me the challenge, Sarah, I think it'd be really important that you led something personally because that really reinforces across the organisation how important this is. Uh, so I took that challenge on, thank you very much Sharon, I think it was very wise feedback to me. Um, and now we're launching the this campaign through a group that we're calling the Culture Collaborative. So a few weeks ago I invited a broad range of people to come together for the first time to start a conversation on how do we understand what the culture is across the organisation and what can we do to improve it. Is the biggest part of this is going to be a conversation with every member of staff in the organisation, hence doing this video. Over the next couple of months we're going to be launching a couple of online conversations using the crowdsourcing platform. But don't worry, I know not everybody likes to use online discussion forums or has access to the internet day to day. So we're going to be supplementing it with some additional focused conversations with staff to get as many views as possible in order to help us determine and describe in detail what's the culture that we truly aspire to in Leeds and York Partnership Trust. And then from that, what are the additional actions over and above what we're already doing that we can take forward over the next couple of years to start to bring that culture to life. Just to be clear then what the next steps are, in September I'm going to be formally inviting every member of staff to join the online conversation if that's your preferred method of getting involved. You'll get this via email, you'll get a username and a password in order to log in. That will kickstart the online conversation and then we'll be advertising a range of dates where we'll be going out to different departments and teams, like I say, to provide an opportunity for those staff that don't want to use crowdsourcing to get their voices heard. It won't just be me doing it. When we had the initial culture collaborative meeting, I've asked all of those that were involved, and this is a broad group of staff from different professional groups, from the different networks that we run, to also have those conversations on my behalf uh, so that we can reach as many people as possible. That's going to take a few months. I don't want to hurry the conversation or risk the opportunity of missing really important feedback from you because I want to hear from as many of you as possible. And in the 
early months of next year, we'll start to look at that feedback and we'll use that culture collaborative group to come back together again. And from that then, we'll bring an offer back out to all the staff of the things that we'll start to do differently from April onwards. And there might be things that you suggest that we need to stop doing that you think is having a negative impact on your experiences. So we want as many ideas and be as creative and free thinking as possible.